Hello, my name is Amulya and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Python 3.8.5 on Microsoft Windows 10. So this installation, Python 3.8.5 installation is going to work on Windows 8, 8.1 and 10 out of the box. If you have Windows XP, it's not going to work on Windows XP. You should download and install Python 3.5 and below. If you have Vista or 7, you can try, but there's a possibility you'll get errors while installing Python 3.8.5. So whenever you get any error, it's just because your system is missing some package. So go ahead and download it and then retry. Alrighty, so let's get started. Before we quickly go ahead and download Python 3.8.5, Point 0.5 package we want to know our system type so go ahead and check your system type to check your system type you simply go ahead and locate these two buttons on your keyboard so the first one is windows key the second one is pause break button on the right top of the keyboard so press both keys together and then release so windows and pause button now you'll see here it says it's pulling this information from control panel system and security and system and then go ahead and check your system type so this is 64 bit operating system and 64 bit based processor now i know my system type is 64 bit your could be 32 bit so you must know what your system type is now i'm going to click this close button so now I assume that you know your system type. Quickly go ahead and fire up your preferred browser. I'm going to use Google Chrome. You can use Firefox, Edge, Internet Explorer, doesn't matter, or any other browser. Once your browser is up, go ahead and pull up this website, which is Python's official website, python.org. Now once you have this website up on your browser, Put your cursor on downloads tab here button and then go to windows and to download python 32-bit and 64-bit package you click on this windows button here do not click this one do not click this one click on this windows this will let us choose the specific system time download package now here you can see We've got two links basically uh, this is for stable releases and this is for pre-releases so if you want to try 3.9 you want to try the pre-releases download link these are basically the latest release for python 3.8.5 basically 3 and 2 so in so i'm going to try this the first one because we are trying to install 3.8.5 which is the latest release now here you can read about the changes that took place in this 3.8 following this link. To download 32-bit and 64-bit Python, you simply scroll down to files section here at the bottom. And you can see you've got six links to download Python for Microsoft Windows. Here you can see in the description it says these are for 64-bit operating systems. This is for AMD 64-bit, Intel 64-bit, so irrespective of your processor type, whether it's AMD or Intel, you should have no issue installing these packages. Okay, so if your system type is 64-bit, you want to try these three links, download links. There are three types of downloads available. The first one is zip folder, which will be a bit kind of compressed one and smaller package, which you can download and import it to any system you want. The second one is executable. So it's a compiled version of Python binary. Basically, you can download it and take it to any Microsoft Windows system and run it. You should run like any 64-bit operating system this is a web-based installer this is what i'm going to use so if you have internet connection and you do not want to port it to any other system you simply go ahead and try this one 
these are for 32 bit downloads so if you do not have to port it to the system other systems you want to try this one if you have to port it to different systems go ahead and try the executable installer so in this case i'm going to click this web-based installer for the 64-bit operating system now this is going to download this package so depending on the browser this will look in a different location so go ahead and locate it and click on it just once or twice if it requires now here this is installation wizard for python 3.8 64-bit basically it's 3.5 3.8.5 okay so you can customize the installation here by clicking this button but i'll go back and make sure the python is going to be added to the system's path so go ahead and check this box please do not forget it otherwise you will have to do it yourself manually so if you do not check this box you will not be able to execute python from anywhere on the system so basically you are trying to let it happen automatically so this installation wizard will guide your operating system to add its pythons like basically script and its home directory set to the system's path so it also says add python 3.8 to path so that makes sense now we can go ahead and customize the installation if you want otherwise you can simply go ahead and click install now and it says includes idle pip documentation and creates shortcut and file association so if you want to customize you can click here otherwise click install now but i'm going to customize it i do not need the documentation and you can see it's going to download the package manager pip tcl and tk which is tk enter and idle and this is going to install the launcher pi launcher and it's going to be for all users so now you can go ahead and if you do not need the documentation uncheck it otherwise leave it and then say next click on this here install for all users and this will customize the directory now the installation directory is going to be under program files and python 338 if you want to change it you can change it otherwise simply say install you might get user account control window say yes and this is going to start or initialize the installation on your system so it says installing python 3.8.5 executables 64 bit shouldn't take a long time it's not a bit big package so what I'm going to do once it's installed, I'll go ahead and launch my command prompt, uh, shell, PowerShell, and check if it's going to recognize the Python. We will go ahead and check the Python version. Then I'll go ahead and execute a few Python scripts. And then uh, we'll go ahead and write a hello world program save it on the system and execute it from the command line now you can see it says setup was successful you can go ahead and close it and we have python installed so i'm going to quickly minimize it go to start menu and launch your powershell powershell is here and let's see if i go ahead and say python uppercase v do not type lowercase uppercase now it says python 3.8.5 if you just say python it will take you into the interactive shell of python let me quickly analyze the font size okay now hopefully you can see it now if i go ahead and say something like print it will go ahead and print whatever you want 
you can do the arithmetics false <laughs> what I wanted to know whether it's a true or false okay alrighty so you can see it works what we need to do I need to exit here now I go ahead and say CMD check with CMD here Python is working so it's a 3.8.5 so it added to the systems path now I need to exit and you can see You've got a lot of other things installed with python you can see you can go ahead and check the python idle so let's have a look at the idle this is basically python's text editor you can run python here as well and it works like the interactive shell now i can go ahead and go ahead and exit Alrighty, it says still running, so let's have a look. No, it's not still running. So I'm quickly going to write a simple program here on the system, and let's see if that works. So I'm going to launch the Notepad. I do not have any editor yet. I'm simply going to say print. And this should work if I could just go ahead and save it so that's the extension you have to remember pi I'm going to save it on the desktop you can create a folder and then put it on the in the folder now to execute it you simply go ahead and launch a cmd go to the directory where your uh, python file is and simply say python hello.py or whatever the name of the file is and now it's going to execute it so that's it for this video if you have any questions i shall leave in the comment below i will try to answer it asap thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, bye for now. Thank you.